again, Internet. Uh, I'm back. Um, it's a cloudy old day today and uh, looking very overcast. Uh, doesn't look good for the weekend either. Uh, but I want to get some jobs done on the Tigra. Um, last video was a bit of a tinker with the engine, getting it running better. And it seems to be good now. Um, cleaning up the math and everything did sort the problem out. But I've got a major problem that's, at the moment, causing me a bit of concern. L let me show you what it is. So, because this is a convertible, um, when you open the door, so we'll unlock it like that, and you pull the door handle, the window is supposed to roll down. Now, I've got it rolled down a little bit at the moment, because it was, if it's all the way up, um, it's almost impossible to open the door. So, the comfort feature, as you see, it's not going back up again, that isn't working at the moment. Now, the windows, this is the weird thing, the windows go... Up and down, no problem. Um, and although this is absolutely filthy, as the car is, let me let me just quickly show you. It's pigsty. Um, haven't touched it yet. Um, the window, oh, all the switches and everything seem to work okay. Um, let me just demonstrate. So I put the ignition on. As you can see, it goes down okay. Now what it doesn't do, um, it doesn't go down automatically. You have to hold your finger on it. So there's something not right there. Uh, same on the other side as well. But all the switches do work. So at the moment, what I'm having to do is just leave it down a little bit so I can close the door. Now, I've sort of narrowed it down by investigation to the body control module. Um, the problem being is my scanner won't touch it or reset it. There's something called Voxcom and Opcom, um, but you can't... Well, I can't at the moment run them with the adapter I've got. The the adapter, the Elm 25, whatever it is, um, does connect to the car, but it doesn't want to play with this uh, Opcom, Voxcom software. So I'm a little bit stuck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the bonnet up and that's just take out the body control module, uh, the BCM, and basically give it a clean up, see if it makes any difference. Uh, it may reset it as well. Who knows? Right, wind's getting up, it's getting chilly. Let me get this done before it rains. So that's the bonnet up. Um, yeah, that's another task to do because, um, yeah, the cable seems to have stretched as well. So it's a bit of a pain to open, but the body control module is in there. So got the screws there, um, that comes off like so. Uh, that comes off and in there is your flash unit and also your body control module and a couple of other relays and fuses. So first job, get that off. So I wouldn't say it's the easiest thing in the world to get to. <laughs> but there it is. Um, they are known for water ingress, these um, common fault. I believe with most voxels, to be honest. But if you're taking one off, um, that's how it comes off. There's a screw right at the back. There's one down there, which is a pain to get to because it's next to the battery. There's one at the back there. There's one at the side there. One at the front there and a couple that you can see back here so there you go that is the uh, the cover off um, as you can see you've got to drop everything off here your scuttle panel and uh, everything around the battery too uh, you could probably take the battery out and make it easier on yourself but you don't need to um, right let's tidy up a bit so that's the body control module and um, let's pop it out and see if there's any obvious signs <laughs> Yeah, the alarm works. God, every blooming time you do something, you take the battery off, you can disconnect something, that alarm goes off. Right, I'm going to have to find a way to stop that happening. Right, so apparently if you turn the ignition on, then take it out, it won't make a sound. Do you want to place your bets? Ah, okay. There's the trick. <laughs> Put the ignition on first. Right. Um, first look. Yeah, looks okay. Uh, let's cover it in an electrical cleaner and see what happens. So I just popped it out of its case to see if there's any water ingress or anything like that in there. And it looks pretty clean. Looks okay. So um, I don't know. I'm grabbing at straws at the moment. There is a way of resetting these, but the software I've got, um, I can't get working at the moment. So um, I'm going to give it a clean up and then just put it back in and see where we go from there. Okay, douse and electrical spray uh, back in again. No difference at all. Um, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with the module itself. There's, there's just something weird going on, but I don't know what at the moment. R rather annoying. Um, everything else works that this controls, but the windows don't. So, yeah, if anybody's got any ideas, any suggestions, <laughs> I'm open. So, I've given it a good spray and a good clean up on all the connections, all the relays, and everything that I can see. Um, now just disconnected the battery. Another suggestion was to do like an ECU reset on it. So uh, left the ignition on, took the battery terminal off and the alarm doesn't go off. Woohoo! So I'm going to leave that for a while, see if that makes any difference. But uh, yeah, this is going to be a challenge. I just know it. So that's the cover back on again, um, cleaned up. And uh, although the seal wasn't too bad, I've put some extra rubber uh, compound around there. Uh, that makes rubber gaskets. It's good stuff. It's Chinese, but it's good stuff. <laughs> um, so that should seal itself up nicely. I, I can't see anything wrong with it. I mean, obviously, I've got no way of testing it, but I don't see anything wrong with it, so I'm not overly convinced it's that's the problem. Uh, but it seems weird it's happening on both doors. If it was one, I would sort of start ripping the panel off, but um, I don't know. It's starting to um, concern me a little bit. This, this is... Uh, this is maybe something I need to consult a garage about. Oh, God forbid. Well, update. So the windows still the same. But on a positive note, I have fixed the bonnet release catch. <laughs> and this. So um, little steps. But um, yeah, the windows are causing me grief. Um, disconnected the battery didn't make any difference. Not surprised. Um, so I don't know. I need to do some digging. And some investigation. Hmm. So one last thing I'm going to try. Um, now I've reset everything. Is just plug my iCar soft in again. Uh, see if we've got any errors. I doubt it. And see if it points me in the direction of anything that I could physically do. All right. So in the body control module, read codes. No fault codes. Again, didn't expect there to be. Let's go over everything. So that's read codes, no codes, which is good, don't get me wrong, but it's not pointing me in the direction of what I need to mess about with. No codes anywhere, not in any single, go back, you dare, too much button pressing, on oh, top, what am I doing? Thank you. No codes. So I'm stumped. Um, so yeah. Any advice, any help, please feel free to chuck it in the comments down down there. Right, I think that'll do for this video because uh, it's really accomplished very little um, apart from the bonnet pull and uh, cleaning up a bit. Um, but the engine's running good. So, you know, the windows are something minor, but again, something when you've got a convertible that needs to work. Uh, All right, catch you later, internet. Thanks for joining. I thought I